become used to the idea of a sat nav telling us how to get from A to B. But imagine if it could also tell you how to avoid traffic jams. Researchers in Maynooth are working on the next generation of intelligent sat nav technology. It would be very useful as you're driving along with your sat nav to know what the traffic conditions are like ahead of you. Not just a map of the roads, but also the traffic conditions in current time, in real time. So it wouldn't be useful as you're driving along to get warnings saying, two miles ahead of you on the M50, big traffic jam, uh, take this road instead. So that is, it seems quite simple, but you need feedback from somebody. Some, somebody's got to monitor the traffic and then feed it back to you in real time. And you've got to have a device in your car that can, can capture that information. Stuart Fotheringham's expertise is in the capture, analysis and display of spatial data. Spatial data essentially means any information with a location attached to it. Aside from traffic information, this data can be used in incredibly diverse ways, from the location of incidents of specific diseases or pollution levels, to mapping the seabed. It can even help in the detection of crime. Okay, patterns of burglary, for example. Can we diagnose something about the modus operandi of the, of, the, of the burglar, of the criminal, from the patterns which are being displayed? In fact, some of the police forces, particularly in the UK, have used people to do this for serial killers, looking at the, the pattern of the crimes as a clue to perhaps where that person lives. A large part of what we do is not just the sensor part, looking at technologies for capturing data, it's also the algorithms, the computer algorithms, for storing and processing those data. In fact, really now the bottleneck is the processing of the data. We can, we can obtain, we can scan huge amounts of data. The bottleneck is in trying to process that and then send it back out to locationally aware devices. That's the exciting thing. Stuart and his team are working on the development of software, which will be used on devices such as mobile phones. In real time, you'll be able to retrieve information directly from your surroundings. That's the next big toy that people will have. People will look at the building, point at a building and find out a menu in a restaurant, or what's in that building over there, what offices are there, what bus route is coming down this street. These are all systems which will become uh, commonplace in the next two to five years, I'm, I'm sure.